All right, your DIY home fruiting kit is starting to fruit. And I've got three examples here. I've got a pink oyster, uh, I've got a lion's mane, and then I've got a reishi that is getting top fruited. They're ready to fruit. We've got to get them into proper fruiting conditions, which means that they've got to get some amount of light They've got to get good humidity, uh, and they've got to get enough airflow. And so there are a number of ways that we can go, go about creating the right environment for that. And uh, the simplest way, probably, uh, is just to leave it in the open and uh, get a spray bottle of water, adjust it so it's a very fine mist coming out of it. There we go. And then spray up above it a few times a day and uh, let that soak in. Uh, with any of these, the key is you want to make sure that the mushrooms don't stay wet all of the time. They need to dry out uh, in, in the, not dry out, but they need to not have water standing on them because when you have standing water always on something, uh, that will develop bacteria and you'll get something called bacterial blotch. So you can't have a constant wet environment. So if you notice that the mushrooms are always wet, then you need to decrease the amount of moisture they're getting. But that's a very easy thing to do. Uh, another thing you can do is use the, uh, the humidity tent that came with your kit. Um, and that's as simple as spraying the inside of the bag really good a few times a day. And then just setting it over top. And um, if you're still having trouble keeping, uh, keeping a good enough humid environment, if your mushrooms seem like they're drying out still, you can even set it in a pan with a little water in it. Um, uh, that'll help, that, that'll help keep a little moisture in the air. This is less ideal for some of the oyster varieties. Just because this humidity tent does restrict the amount of airflow, and so they'll, they'll get longer stems if you use the humidity tent. So, um, but this is great for things like lion's mane, it works really well. So other options. I've got a video that I've done on how to make this simple fruiting chamber uh, for under $20. And it's basically just a clear plastic tote, uh, cut a hole and, uh, and put this USB fan into it. And then the fan, uh, as it blows air in for fresh air, blows through this rag and the rag, turn it around again, the rag is sitting down in a container of water so that the water wicks up into it. And so basically it's blowing air through a wet rag constantly and that keeps a humid environment in there. That's another option. Um, and then yet another option is to get an ultrasonic humidifier. This is one I picked up uh, at a local Goodwill. Any thrift store is going to have these, typically for about five bucks. This was a five dollar ultrasonic humidifier. And what I've done with this one is I have uh, gone to Walmart and just got a six dollar timer that you can set for half hour increments all day long and I set it so that every three hours, it'll turn on for half an hour. Uh, and then you plug the humidifier into it, plug this into the wall, and then every three hours for a half hour, this humidifier will run and uh, you can set it to whatever setting if you want it to run pretty low, um, probably since it's gonna run for a half hour. That'll get a nice amount of humidity onto those mushrooms. And you can direct uh, the humidity out of here 
uh, you can do something to direct it over your fruiting block. Uh, what you do could be as simple as uh, setting this up and then taking your humidity tent and just put the humidity tent over so that when it runs that humidity is directed down onto the mushrooms. Um, but you'll want to make some adjustments with this if you see that uh, it doesn't seem to be enough. You can set it to run more often than every three hours. But again, you want to make sure that you don't have water constantly in contact with those mushrooms um, because that's, that's how you get bacteria developing. Anyway, these are three simple options um, for keeping your humidity up. Uh, and uh, there are a million other options. Um, but, but these are three to start with, something to think about. But again, the, uh, the humidity tent that comes with the DIY kit will be easy to use, and it'll work for most situations, but it doesn't give you the best control. So in, in that case, if you want more control, if it's just not quite doing enough, try one of these other options. Let me know what you think.